Okay, so now that that's done, we need to work on the search box next. You can see here, it looks like that. So, going back to our code, uh, the next bit of the search box is right there. So now um, a nice feature um, that is um, included in WordPress is something that's known as a get search form function. So using this function, you do not need to um, actually write out your actual physical form for a search for box. It's already pre-done for you. So this is the code. Um, let's just grab it and take it above uh, this section. Copy it and then paste it here. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of this totally. So this is the search form. And before the search form, though, the form, we need to put in the uh, title, which is search. So go back here, type in h3 uh, search. And then let's just save this and see what it looks like. There we go. So we have our uh, HD title followed by our search form box. And then after that, we need to style the rest of the sidebar menu items. So now we are actually moving into this uh, widget sidebar region. So, so what this uh, feature does is that if um, it allows uh, people to use a dynamic uh, widget sidebar, which means they can add in contents of whatever they feel like adding in. For example, they can add in things like um, archives for categories or perhaps um, archives by uh, dates, um, like month. Or you can add in a section of links or just information that they feel like adding using widgets. And so um, this is the current um, styling we are putting in is for um, it's for when uh, they have not set the widgets themselves. So uh, so this is just asking if the widget has been uh, dynamic sidebar widgets has been set. Then um, just use that. If not, then you are using this code. Uh, skip that, and then this is just checking for what sort of page this is. You can just ignore that. The main area we want to look at is um, under here. This is the archive section in which we need to fix. So first of all, um, again, this this tag here, the WP dam underscore list underscore pages is um, going to be displaying um, a list of links to the main pages of our site, except we've already included that into our nav bar up top here. So we can just simply go in and remove that section. So delete that. And then now we have our section for the archives. Now remember, uh, go back, going back here, archives. You can see that the archives, the, the title of the archives is not found within the, the list. So we could just take that out. And then put it back up top here. And then you can see that um, in the unordered list, uh, it has a class name of site menu. So grab that and paste it in here. We don't need that anymore. That's just redundant. Nor do we need this, actually. No, we do need this. We just don't need that. Okay, actually. Just um, fix the alignment there a little bit to make it look nicer. Okay. So now hit save and then go back to our browser. 
and just looks a little bit better. Archives. Archives. Now it's time to fix categories. So going back into our code. Categories is generated using this tag. Uh, WP underscore list underscore categories tag. So again, looking back at our, oops, we don't really have a reference here in our blog page, but it's going to be done using the same format as what we have there above for archives. So go ahead and type in h3. This is uh, categories, categories, closing h3. And then this uses the ul unordered list item. Again, we call it class of site menu. And then we have a closing tag. Perfect. Now, in this case, you um, we have predefined for us um, certain certain set of functions uh, or like uh, parameters. Um, in particular, this is just showing um, a category count. So in our category count is just showing you in this category how many posts are found within it in a bracket in the number format that is what that does so if you don't want that to show up turn that to zero i saved it and it now goes away so now let's just add that back in and the second bit is the category uh, title in this title underscore li. In this case, we don't want to have any category title, so we can remove that and just go to nothing. That will leave that as um, blank, or which means it's not going to show up. Refresh the page, and you can see that our categories are fixed back to normal. Okay, now the next thing we need to work on is this meta section. Again, we're going to format it in the same way. So let's just go back to our code. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. I don't need this. Um, okay. All right, in this section, we'll deal with the bookmarks in a little bit. In the section, the meta information, we don't want h2, we want h3 tag. And then again, it follows the same format. This is fine. I'm just going to reformat the thing a little bit to make it easy to see. We don't need this closing um, this item tag anymore. Okay, so meta tag, the UL, again, this needs the class of side menu. Save. Going back. Perfect. 